Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're here this morning to uh, recount uh, the statement from uh, yesterday's shark encounters. So we'll begin in just a few minutes. If everyone, uh, again, will turn your cell phones off to vibrate. Uh, just let me know when everyone's ready, and we'll begin. Uh, Tim Holloman. H O L L O M A N. Chris Ansomo, A N S E L M O. I'm the fire chief for the Oklahoma Fire Department. I'm Brian Watts, B R I A N W A T T S. I'm the emergency services director for Brunswick County. John Ingram, I N G R A M, chair for Brunswick County. Okay, I think all the uh, media are ready at this time. Uh, good morning. Uh, this is a statement regarding Sunday shark encounters. The first incident occurred approximately at 4.40 p.m. in the vicinity of Ocean Crest Pier. Uh, it involved a young teenage girl, uh, approximately age 12, from Ashburn, North Carolina, who was here vacationing with her family. And then approximately at uh, 5.51, a uh, gentleman, 16, of Winston-Salem, uh, was visiting as well. Uh, this second incident occurred just uh, before 6 near 55th Place Street. Uh, we are not releasing the names this time as we've not been able to uh, speak to the families of these uh, victims. The town has been coordinating efforts with Brunswick County Sheriff's Office, Water Rescue, the Town of Caswell Beach, Brunswick EMS, and other agencies in the response and attempting to locate the shark that may have been involved. Late yesterday afternoon, the town of Oak Island warned people to get out of the water and contacted the town of Caswell Beach, and they in turn initiated that process as well. Uh, now, Chief Anselmo will give you a more detailed account of yesterday's incidents. Late yesterday afternoon at approximately 4.40 p.m., we received the call for a traumatic injury in the area of the Ocean Crest Pier on Oak Island. Captain Jack Baker, Firefighter Paramedic Peter Joyce, and Firefighter EMT Jerry Akalowicz of the Oak Island Fire Department <clears throat> arrived on the scene to find a 13-year-old female that had been attacked by what is believed to have been a shark. Brunswick County EMS and Oak Island PD also responded and the U.S. Coast Guard was advised of the situation. At approximately 5.51 p.m., another call came in for a similar injury at the 55th Street Beach access. That incident involved a 16-year-old male. The same Oak Island Fire Department crew responded to that call as well. When they arrived on scene, the 16-year-old victim's friend had already begun life-saving treatment on the beach. Brunswick County EMS, Oak Island Police Department, and Oak Island Water Rescue also responded to the second call. Both victims were reported to be about 20 yards offshore in waist-deep water. Both of the victims were transported by Brunswick County EMS to a landing zone and airlifted to New Hanover Regional Medical Center with life-threatening injuries. As of last night, both victims were out of surgery and in stable condition. Thank you, Chief. Now, EMS Director Brian Watts uh, will relate his agency's role yesterday and ongoing and report also on the victims as well. Thank you, Mr. Allen. Um, the, just to elaborate a little bit more on the injuries from, from yesterday, the first patient, a 13-year-old female, um, she had um, injuries to her left upper extremity as well as her left lower extremity. Um, the second patient, the 16-year-old male, had a pretty significant injury to his left upper extremity. Um, both patients were potentially life-threatening injuries that were both airlifted to our trauma center at New Hanover Regional Medical Center. And as Mr. Anselmo indicated, they were are both out of surgery. They're both in stable condition this morning, but honestly, they have a really long road ahead. Um, the keys to the success yesterday was the fact that our bystanders that were on the beach with both of these patients um, did very quick first aid the correct way. Um, we had a very quick response from our from our 911 center who um, who assisted with bleeding control over the phone and um, things like that. And our first responders were very quick as well. Um, also, the um, the patients was were transported to directly to the trauma center, and certainly that makes a big difference as well. Thank you, uh, Director Watts. Uh, now, Sheriff John Ingram is here as well. He'll take uh, talk a little bit about actions taken by the Sheriff's Department immediately after the incident and ongoing actions in the next couple of days. Uh, 
Uh, the sheriff's office role is basically that of support to the town of Oak Island by means of uh, our helicopter and our boats. Uh, we are utilizing uh, those resources to help uh, monitor the coastline and watch for any uh, sightings of sharks. And if that does occur, then we will report it to the town and let them take appropriate action. Uh, at this time, too, uh, the town has been contacted by the uh, Shark Research Institute, and we are talking to them about uh, potential ways to avoid future incidents and also uh, studying what has happened here uh, that is out of the norm uh, for this area. Uh, we would like to remind people that the uh, Brunswick County beaches and the town of Oak Island beaches are open, uh, and maybe some things to uh, be advised uh, if you are in the area. Pay attention to fish swimming patterns. Uh, if fish start to dart away, chances are there could be a predator nearby. Uh, try to avoid fishing boats and anglers from shore uh, who can attract sharks looking for uh, um, food. So refrain from swimming near those activities. Uh, skip swimming after heavy rains uh, that sometimes uh, uh, attracts uh, predators into the area. Steer clear of dolphins and seabirds. Also avoid the mouths of rivers and sharp drops between sandbars that could attract these predators as well. Avoid swimming in dirty or mur murky water. Uh, please do not go into the water if you had a uh, bleeding cut or if uh, females are menstruating, do not swim in open water. Um, avoid areas. Um, we had any reports of uh, sharks in those areas. Try to swim on sunny and clear days. Uh, make sure you have a partner with you and stay alert as to what's going on in the surrounding environment as you enjoy the uh, coast and the beach. Uh, at this time, we'll take a few questions uh, from the audience. Okay, sir. This question is for Mr. Watts. Um, would you say that it's possible that had those bystanders not been there, those kids could have died? Absolutely. Absolutely. The, um, the bystanders to, to go ahead and start um, the process of stopping the bleeding, um, that was the biggest concern with, with, these, um, with these patients was the, um, the blood loss. And without that, um, we would have had a different outcome. Brunswick County doesn't have any beaches uh, as far as uh, that are not within municipalities. So um, it's the municipality's responsibility to, um, to determine that. And so I really can't answer that. Maybe Tim can. Uh, at this time, uh, we don't have any change in policy on lifeguards. We may be looking at the future. Uh, question number two. Um, do you think lifeguards would have made a difference in this situation as far as maybe being out there seeing I don't believe in this, these particular instances it would have made a, a significant difference, no. Do you know, uh, question over here. All right. Do you know if it, if it was one shark or multiple sharks? Uh, we can't confirm that. Uh, <coughs> Chief, you want to address that? Or the size? We can't confirm the size, or and we can't confirm whether it is, was one or two. It's, it's just no way of knowing that. All right, so uh, question here. In regards to fishermen on the pier, I think read a couple of comments, people saying they thought they were throwing chum off the pier. Is that something you're going to monitor in the future to make sure that this might not happen again? Uh, we have heard rumors of that in different areas, uh, but that is not prohibited. Uh, we will be looking at that a little bit above at this time, trying to encourage people maybe not to uh, engage in any kind of shark fishing. But like I said, those rumors have been unconfirmed at this time. Um, Fire Chief, would you recommend people swim today? Well, there's no way that we're going to stop people from going into the water. If they if they want to go in the water, they're going to. It's 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 you know there's there's rip tides out there. People shoot fireworks off at the Fourth of July. We tell them not to do that either. So you know there's really no way to control that. We can ad advise people just to be careful and be alert. And and uh, the the uh, some of the recommendations that that town manager Tim read off, we recommend that that people follow those guidelines. Would you gentlemen swim in the water today? I'm sorry? Would you generally <laughs> swim in the water today? Would I swim in the water? I would swim in the water today. Are you concerned with uh, this Good. starting, uh, sorry, right before the uh, start of tourism season, are you concerned this is going to have a kind of any impact on your guys' tourism? Uh, we're always concerned about an incident of this kind. We like for all our visitors to be safe no matter what time it is. Uh, so we can't speculate on the effect on tourism this time. Uh, Oak Island is, like I said, is open for business. We have uh, beautiful beaches and we are still open for visitors. We will continue to monitor the situation, but we can't forecast any effect 
on the economy at this time. Question two. Um, I called the hospital and they said the girl was 12. So is she 12 or 13? Uh, 12. Okay, we've been hearing two different numbers. Don't worry, thank you. Uh, question over here. Did the victims say, did they have any warning? Did anyone see a fin, anything? <coughs> Uh, to my knowledge, uh, there were no, no advance warning of either of these incidents. Question over here. Just another clarification about the amputations. Do we know, did they, in that surgery last night, did they have their limbs, did they lose their limbs? The best answer is I'm not sure. Um, I'm, I wasn't able to get that information from, um, from the hospital this morning. That might be something that, that you guys can get from them later. Question over here. Yeah, what was the notification process like after the first attack? And is it possible you did the second attack to have been prevented? Uh, we moved very quickly yesterday after the first attack. Uh, we were trying to get people on the beach uh, with megaphones and ATVs to want people to get out of the water. Um, it was getting high tide. It was storming the area, so uh, we took all the precautions on that. Uh, the sheriff's department became really active and got a helicopter up in the air and <coughs> Marine One. Uh, so I think we reacted as quickly as possible. Uh, question over here. As far as tracking, are you guys in any, any efforts to try to track it, or are you kind of considering him or her lost? Uh, uh, we're uncertain about the location. Uh, we are uh, working on the sheriff's department. We expect the, uh, to have uh, air support and air monitoring for at least three times during the day today, and we'll be uh, working through that in the next couple of days if we feel it's necessary. But today is the only day we have plans for that. Are you making sure to, to, to kill it or just to move it off? We're just monitoring for right now, so that's, that's the extent of any action. I was just going to ask you sort of along the same lines. You've got the helicopter and the boat out there. If you do see a shark, what do you do at that point? Uh, we'll be notified, and uh, we'll take the appropriate action at that time. So uh, as the sheriff mentioned earlier, uh, if anything suspicious arises, we'll be notified immediately. What would and be what's appropriate, appropriate action? action? Uh, we'll decide whether an animal is uh, feasible to uh, eliminate at that time or not. Estimated there were seven foot long between the the locations of the two bikes earlier, and uh, then we spotted a, another one uh, off the um, down a little further south. How big was that one? About the same size. Aren't sharks pretty common here in the waters off this um, Oak Island? Uh, Sharks are common across the uh, coastline of North Carolina, so the answer is yes. Not just specifically, more so here in our area, but across the coast. And we'll take a couple more questions uh, before we close out. Our next update will be at 1 o'clock today. I don't anticipate any changes, but that, at this time should be the final update. Question from the back. We will. We'd like to get that to all of our people immediately. We will. We'll have that out uh, later this morning. Okay, thank you. How much monitoring are you doing? How much uh, at this present time, as we said, the Marine One should be out today. Uh, the Sheriff may co uh, comment on that a little bit more extensively, and we should have uh, air monitoring today, and then we'll make a decision on how much to do in the future days. But probably the day would be the most, and just see if uh, we have any activity. Your update, is that going to be a press release or another? Um, we're not sure if the uh, conference is going to be here or, or out on the uh, beach. Uh, we should be able to let you know a little bit later. Uh, it will not be as detailed as it is right now, just if there's any changes. All right. Final question? Uh, Sheriff, were you able to tell what type of shark it was? No, we were not. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we've uh, not taken any more questions this time. Uh, we will keep you updated. Like I said, we'll uh, either have a, a brief uh, press release at uh, 1 p.m. today, and if anything changes, we will let you know. We do appreciate everyone attending, and like I said, the safety of our uh, residents and visitors is our utmost uh, priority. Our thoughts and prayers go with the families of these victims, and uh, we're doing the uh, best we can to react and prevent any further occurrences. Thank you.